Welcome to Between the Layers exhibition showcasing members of the Sunshine Coast Surface Design Group. Layers may be interpreted as multiple layers of techniques, meaning, materials, or design. Fiber and textile art, perhaps because of its tactile nature and intergenerational association with comfort, has the ability to reach out and communicate directly with the viewer. In the main gallery, Low Tide by Marie Berry has taken her photo of the low rock bank, printed it on cotton fabric, and enhanced the surface with a variety of threads, yarns, and fabrics. Jennifer Love's Triptych, My Memory Bank series, is inspired by issues of memory and selfhood and uses layering of hand-painted and printed fabrics. In Bushfire, Constance Chapman uses her photograph digitally printed on cotton and embellished with pigments and hand stitching. Centered and Journey Home by Pat Crusill reflect Pat's love of color in her hand painted and pieced work. Us and Them by Jill Sullivan showcases Jill's techniques of three to six layers of dye on fabric, adding paper paints to continue the layering. In Connected, Alexis Bach has hand-designed and felted merino wool and silk fiber to create multiple surfaces that in turn create layers of shadows. Snow by Yvonne Stoll, inspired by the whirling snow on the windscreen, uses hand-woven strips that are rewoven and twisted to create the movement and textured surface. Marilyn Weeb's Papavar is part of a series of tapestries hooked and stitched exploring botanicals. The materials are Scottish burlap and hand-dyed recycled wool cloth in a traditional rug-hooking method. Sunday Afternoon by Deborah Dumpka celebrates natural fiber and the process of transformation that leaves the mark of the hands on the objects. Hand-dyed wool fiber wet felted. Hello Happiness, a burst of color and texture using free motion embroidery on hand-dyed felt with silk threads, showcases Nell Burns' love of sculpture and color. This series is inspired by the scars and peeling bark of Arbutus trees. In this triptych, Traces in Time, Trisha Joel uses the gracefulness of the eucalyptus leaves to eco-print on layers of organic cotton and acrylic paint. Muscle Memory by Deborah Dumpka uses the traditional wet felting method, reflecting on how a shape manifests and holds the sum of invisible experiences, exposures and pressures rendered over time. Maureen Sugru's love of color pattern and design are reflected in both Arbutus Grove and the Poppy, hand-dyed, collaged, hand and machine stitched. In Night Shift, Constance Chapman uses her photograph of tailgates on city streets, digitally printing on cotton with embellishments of pigments and hand stitching. Beneath the surface, and stratification by Jean Curry use the technique of marbling on fabric, creating a complexity of color and images. Maureen Sugru's color pattern and design continue in layers of life using dye, block printing, hand and machine stitching. In A Complicated Woman, Lois MacArthur explores the layers of experience that make up a personality. The technique of digital printing on watercolor paper cut into strips and woven with hand dyed threads provides an opportunity for Lois to decide which experiences are obvious and which are ones well hidden. Lino prints and watercolor on paper in A Different Point of View show Pat Crisill's love of layers and color to create this interactive 3D collection. Pat Wilson's In the Sunshine uses a digitally printed photograph on fabric. It's part of a series of experimental self-portraits studying the balance between past and present. Technique is fabric collage and hand stitching. Penny Connell's The Female Titans are three freestanding paper mache cult sculptures and embellished with a variety of mixed media techniques. These creations use many of Penny's collections, including hornet's nests. Confusion continues Pat Crisill's love of color and pattern using hand-painted fabric, pieced and machine quilted. Continuing into the Eve Smart Gallery, group members created 12 inch by 12 inch pieces mounted on black linen and cotton fabric. We begin with 
Marie Berry's Forest Floor, a collage of fabric, fibers, paper, and threads. Six layers, one and two, by Penny Connell are created with collage, stitch, and paint. Gazania, Lois McCarthy, used photo manipulation and printed and hand stitched the image on cotton. In Autumn Abstract, Maureen Sugru dyed, collaged, and stitched images. Memory Bank 7 continues Jennifer Love's exploration of memory and selfhood using hand dyed and printed fabric collage. Jean Curry's Confluence using dyed fabrics, block printing, and thread. Portal by Pat Wilson is an acrylic painting photographed and digitally printed on canvas, hand stitched. Trisha Joel's Prayer Flags in Nantel uses scraps of fabrics and threads with exposed edges as per the traditional prayer flags. A Triptych of the Seasons of the Poppy by Marilyn Weeb, tapestry stitched by hand with hand blended cotton threads on repurposed Penelope canvas. In Gail Hunt's Three Dimensional To Grow a Dream, much is hidden behind the bark of this first section in layers both physical and metaphorical. To grow a dream, to dream a house, to house a love, to love a tree, to tree a life, to live a thanks, to thank a tree. Hand dyed, painted, stitched, collaged. Tumbling by Jennifer Love. Hand dyed, printed fabric, screen and block printing, collaged and fused. Deborah Dumka's wallflower is created in the traditional wet felting method with wool and silk. Exposed by Alexis Bach strips away the layers and expose that which lies be hidden. Connected networks storing and sending our messages of love, of hope, of strength, of life. Yvonne Stoll's hand-dyed, hand-spun, hand-knitted sculptures represent the spring, summer, and autumn seasons on the coast. Thank you for joining our virtual tour of Between the Layers.